Hey guys. <laughs> uh, I was getting ready to make some uh, crock pot ghee and realized that um, that might be something you guys would like to know about. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it. It's probably the simplest recipe that's out there other than the dulce de leche, which I can never say right. Um, crock pot caramel is what other people call it. Uh, maybe I'll do one on those as well. But this is so simple. You literally, you just take store-bought unsalted butter um, and put it in your crock pot. And uh, we're gonna put it on, I'm gonna put mine on warm. You'll probably put yours on low. You want it on a soft simmer. Uh, my crock pot tends to run a little on the hot side. So because it's on the hot side, I'm gonna put it on keep warm. What you don't want, you don't want it to boil. You don't want it to just sit there liquid. You want it to actually simmer a little bit. It'll simmer overnight um, and you'll take care of it come morning. We'll talk about that then. For overnight, you're gonna put a, I use a flour sack towel and drape it over. One of the reasons why is because you don't want that condensation to go back down into your butter. You know, put your lid on nice and tight, set it and leave it overnight. About, you know, just leave it until you go to bed and get up in the morning. The towel will catch the condensation. You're not gonna have to worry about it. We'll come back in the morning and we'll look at what we're gonna do to finish it up and get it canned. Good morning, everyone. So this is the morning. I'm gonna come in and <clears throat> pull my lid up. So you see how We've got a crust here at the top, but look how pretty that is. You want to be real careful. You don't want to disturb all those crunchies down there at the bottom. You just want to very carefully clean this off. And then we will pour this out through a cheesecloth in a strainer. into a, uh, I use a glass measuring cup, four cup measuring cup, but whatever you've got, you can pull it out into that and then pour it into your jars. We'll do that here in just a minute. Okay, so we're about ready. I've got my um, measuring cup. I have my fine mesh strainer. I use the uh, flour sack cloth that I had over the um, crock pot overnight. I'm gonna pour it through and it will um, get, pull out all that particulate matter that has been, um, all of this that is still remaining that I didn't get out will get caught by this. Um, some people use coffee filters, some people use um, paper towels, that's fine. You can use any of that. Carefully pour it through. It'll actually go through a lot faster than you expect. If you're careful towards the end, you can miss a lot of the stuff that accumulated at the bottom, the sediment. I try not to get it out. There we go. I mean, you lose a little bit of the ghee, but not much. I'll show you what I mean. So here you can see what all is being caught. That's what left behind. There's just a little bit of ghee still in there, but I didn't want the mess. You can see how pretty and clear this is. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take that ghee is pretty darn clear. I could probably have cooked it for a little while longer, but it looks pretty good. And you're going to just pour it into your sterilized jars. Pop 
pop the lid on it and it will self seal. Now, if you don't want to self seal, I mean, ghee is shelf stable, so you don't need to, but if you want to, you can um, pop these in a water bath for 10 minutes or pressure can like you would dairy normally. I don't have anything on the rims. I've already cleaned them. So. Um, uh, you could just bring them up to pressure and um, then turn off the heat immediately, just like you would for dairy. And they'll seal that way as well if you're not comfortable with just uh, doing what they call open kettle like this. Okay? But that's your gig.